Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best monitor for programming. Starting at number 5. Asus 23.8 inch 1080p. If you want a cheap entry level monitor that won't take up a lot of space, then the Asus VG246H is a good option. With a smaller 24-inch screen and lower 1080p resolution than the Dell S2721 QS, it's better to use it as a secondary display next to your main one, or you can get two of them to place side by side for more screen real estate. Although text isn't as sharp as on the Dell, it's still decent for coding. Also, the picture quality is good thanks to its good reflection handling and decent SDR peak brightness, meaning you won't have problems with it in a room with a few lights around, but visibility is a problem in really bright rooms. It's bare bones and features, which is what you have to expect for a cheaper monitor. Despite its low cost, it has remarkable ergonomics, making it easy to adjust the screen to your liking, and with wide viewing angles, images look the same when viewing from the sides. It also has a flicker-free backlight that helps reduce eye strain during long programming sessions if you're sensitive to flicker. Coming at number 4. Dell S2721 QS27. If you're looking for the best monitor for coding on a budget, check out the Dell S2721 QS. It's another step-down model from the Dell S2722 QC that's very similar in display specs as it also has a 27-inch screen and 4K resolution, resulting in extremely sharp text. That said, the main trade-off for getting something cheaper is that it has fewer features, as it doesn't have any USB ports, so you can't connect any extra devices to it. If you want something with USB ports, you can also consider the ASUS ProArt Display PA278CV, which has a lower 1440p resolution, so you must decide between the high resolution or extra features. As for the S2721 QS, you can easily share your screen with others thanks to its wide viewing angles and impressive ergonomics. Like the S2722 QC, you can also use it in a bright room without issues thanks to its high peak brightness and good reflection handling. However, it has a low contrast, so it isn't ideal to use in a dark room. At number 3. Dell S2722 QC27. If you don't want an ultra-wide monitor like the LG 40WP95CW and find the Dell U3223QE too expensive, the Dell S2722 QC is a good mid-range alternative that often goes on sale. It's a step down from the U3223QE in terms of features because it has a smaller USB hub with a single USB-C port and two USB-A ports. It doesn't have a KVM switch, so it isn't ideal if you want to connect multiple computers to the monitor, but that's what you have to expect for something cheaper. On the plus side, the USB-C port still offers 65W of power delivery, and this monitor supports picture-by-picture -picture and picture-in-picture. -picture. It also has the same 4K resolution, resulting in very sharp text. It's a great choice for well-lit rooms because it gets bright enough to fight glare. The reflection handling is also very good, even better than the U3223QE, meaning you won't have issues using it in bright environments. Fortunately, it has wide viewing angles to keep the image consistent from the sides, and with its excellent ergonomics, it's easy to adjust the screen and share it with someone sitting next to you. Number 2 of my list LG 40WP95CW 40 inch if you want an ultra-wide screen to open multiple windows next to each other, check out the LG 40WP95CW. Its 40-inch screen offers even more horizontal screen space than the Dell U3223QE, with a slight curve to bring the edges closer to you. Its 5K 2K resolution has high pixel density like the Dell and delivers sharp text, which is ideal for coding. However, there are some downsides to using this over the Dell as it doesn't get nearly as bright, so it isn't ideal to use in a bright room. If that's something you care about, the LG 38WN95CW is also a great choice that gets brighter, but it has a slightly smaller screen and lower resolution, so the text is less sharp. While the 40WP95CW doesn't have as many ports as the Dell, it still has two USB-A ports and two USB-C inputs that each support Thunderbolt 4, 
which is ideal if you work with a macOS device like a MacBook Pro. It also has decent viewing angles that are good enough if you need to share your screen with someone sitting next to you, as they'll see a consistent image from the sides. And number 1. Dell Ultrasharp U3223QE. The best programming monitor we've tested is the Dell U3223QE. It's an impressive monitor for programmers as it has a large 32-inch screen and 4K resolution, resulting in high pixel density for sharp text clarity. It means that you can easily read your coding text and view more lines simultaneously, and the screen is big enough for multitasking with various windows open. If you find the screen too big, like if you don't have enough space on your desk, consider the smaller Dell U2723QE, which has a 27-inch screen and costs less. The U3223QE has extra features to improve your workflow, like a massive USB hub with three USB-C and five USB-A ports. It supports DisplayPort Alt Mode with 90W of power delivery, which is great if you want to connect a laptop and charge it using a single cable. It even has a KVM switch that makes it easy to switch between sources, like two different computers, and use the same keyboard and mouse. Also, it has picture-in-picture -picture and picture-by-picture -picture modes, so you can view images from two sources simultaneously, which is great for multitasking. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.